it's Zach with a haul from Wise Guy Customs. Yeah, it's been a good while since I've ordered from Wise Guy Customs. Yeah, I think probably, hmm, eh, not quite a year, but definitely a good while ago. Oh, wait a minute, I ordered from him in May, that's right, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, my bad, but yeah, anyways, guys, before I get started and, well, open the package and see what I got from Wise Guy Customs, I just like to say that yeah, I haven't been really been making too many videos lately. This has been a common pattern this year just because of, well, eh, quite a variety of things that have been making me not really do too many YouTube videos lately. I've got studies, I've got other things in life to worry about, that sort of thing. So, yeah, and this, eh, this part of my life seems to have kind of taken a bit of a back seat, but eh, it'll get better again. It will. Don't worry, guys. The clones will get better. The content ideas will get even better. And yeah, don't worry guys, I ain't going nowhere, I'm not dead. Like, don't worry. <laughs> but hey, yeah, you know, it was pretty satisfying reaching a thousand subscribers this year and I'm grateful that a lot of people have appreciated my content where I show off various Lego clones. And yeah, I just thought, before I get into the meat and potatoes of this, I just thought, well, thought I'd, you know, just clear the air on a few things and yeah and before I do get into that another thing I should show up is this 501st in realistic form that I decaled and it's very perfect it's probably one of the most perfect decaled clones I've made this month and I have finally perfected them I have realized where to seal and how to apply properly and all that sort of thing yeah yeah, it's hard to explain it without getting too far into the nitty gritty and the whole like decaling game, that sort of thing. Which, yeah, this is a perfectly applied and sealed RP2501 from Jonak Toys. This is the old template one. It was from the, you know, the huge Jonak Toys video I did where I got all those decals in my grab bag. Like all those grab bags, I meant to say. Which, yeah. Honestly, that was a bit of a smart move, in my opinion, doing that, because that means I got to try all these, like, decal designs, and uh, I still got lots of decals left over. I haven't used too many, just only a few, but even then, some of them are either hit or miss, but you'll see them on my Instagram for Clone Troopers of October, which is probably going to be coming very soon, and I thought I wouldn't be getting any more Clone Trooper minifigures for October, because, oh my god. And another thing I should talk about before I do get into this is that I am partly quitting decaling for the rest of the year. Yeah, because studies have piled up, and I've got other things in my life to worry about, and like kind of just, eh, you know, that sort of thing. So, I have to take some time away from me decaling, and besides, the weather has been getting pretty bad lately. It's been starting to snow, it's been getting a lot more colder, so sealing figures is a bit of a nightmare, and some are a little bit more, shall I say, sensitive to, than others to sealant. Yeah, I'm looking at you, decals with yellow in your color. Yeah. So that's the best way I can sum it up. I'm sorry I'm taking so long, but I just need to address a few things and just kind of talk about what's going on, really, because, yeah, I haven't really given too much clear explanation why I haven't been really doing any videos on unboxings, reviews, da-da-da-da-da. Yeah, the only really content I've really gotten out was just a few crappy meme videos that I edited in a couple minutes. Yeah, that one short did extremely well. Well, that decaling one I did got friggin' slashed by the algorithm, so. If you didn't watch that already, I highly suggest you should. I made a perfectly decaled RP2 Wolfpack clone. Oh, and perfectly sealed too. Yeah, and these two are here for, well, a pretty specific reason as to alluding to what is in the package. Like, I'm sorry guys, I took so long to do this, but now, oops, he fell over. Now I'm just going to move them out of the way and I'm going to, well, grab some scissors and I'm going to cut open the package and see what we have gotten. And yeah, another neat little kind of detail that I noticed on this package is that wise guy put a put one of his like logo cigar stickers on there too, so that's a pretty nice detail. Makes it, oh my god, it lets me know that it is indeed from him. So let us remove the contents. But first I must look at it. Oh yeah, I got a paper right here to read. Let's just see what it says because it might have my personal info on it, and mm, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does have my personal info on it. So that's good I always check because I don't want to accidentally reveal my location. 
that sort of thing. You know what I mean. Anyways, here we go. Here's what I got. This right here is a little bit of a freebie. It was a special request, mind you. And this is the main attraction. This classic custom clone right here. This is a limited edition figure. Yeah. Big surprise. Whoopee. It's limited edition. <laughs> yeah, anyways. And I got just a few decals, mind you, but... Yeah, I won't be using them anytime soon, but it was still good I stocked up on them, even then I didn't see ahead that I'd be, well, out of the decaling game for the rest of the year. Even then, if I do decal, I'll probably just do plain grunts, clones that are hard to mess up and aren't too sensitive to being sealed. And anyways, here he is. This gives me the same vibes the Cody and Wolf did from last year, if you remember correctly. Yeah, any OG subscribers would know what I'm talking about, and... Yeah, here he is. This is a classic style version of Alpha 17. You know, that really cool Star Wars Legends character, that ARC trooper that was a really amazing freaking... You know what I mean? He's a badass. There we go. Finally cleared the air on that. And yeah, yeah might as well inspect it to see. The whole helmet's been sealed, so I don't have to worry about anything becoming crap. So that's the good news is that... The whole thing's been sealed. I can tell it's because it's just a little bit shinier. Because this whole thing, this whole, like, decal 501st, I sealed on almost every single side, and the helmet's got that shine to it because of the sealant. And this must be a different kind of sealant. Which, yeah. This must be one of those, like, knockoff replica blank helmets, and yeah, it looks, it looks pretty fantastic. I'd say it did a pretty good job. Which, the whole helmet is decaled, by the way, so that's why I was talking about the decal 501st again. And the torso is UV printed with the little, like, cartridge and the strap right there that Alpha 17 has. Wise Guy Customs had a different design for it, but, yeah, it didn't really look too classic. And we might as well look at the torso without the fabric pauldron. And, yeah, here it is. And, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like the continued strap detail right there. That looks pretty cool. And yeah, another good thing is that Wise Guy is now doing pauldrons. He is now doing a fabric, like, cloth pauldrons. Oh, that, yeah, that kind of reminds me of CACs, actually, how they have that kind of plastic layer on the bottom. But yeah, Wise Guy is now doing pauldron cloths, and they're not pre-cut. They're, like, on a square. You know what I'm talking about. I, I bought cloths from Jonak Toys, so that's, like, an idea of what they look like and that sort of thing. So yeah, he has them in red, blue, and... Sand blue, I think. So, yeah. Here we go. I'll do my little pauldron trick with this one just to fix it. I'll show you what I do with pauldrons. Just so I do that. I push on it until it's a complete circle like that. And there we go. It sits on there nice and snugly. Like that. If that's even a word. Which, he also comes with a classic loud hailer stud blaster as well. I'll probably put that somewhere else separately. So it doesn't get mixed in with all the others that this is indeed the blaster that came with the Wise Guy Customs Alpha 17. Wise Guy also has a UV printed clone armor classic Obi-Wan as well. And he also has a pair of like fives and echo in classic style as well with UV printed torsos and decal helmets. They are limited edition like this. Which yeah. Oh, sorry guys, I was making sure, because that kind of looked kind of sus, I'll show you what I was talking about. That one little decal right there looks kind of like it's peeling, but... Oh, come on, focus better than that. You can do better than that. Surely you could do better! You have one job and one job, you do it properly. Come on. I haven't had camera woes like this in a good while. Ah, there we go, like that. And yeah, it just looks kind of sus. Although hopefully that was sealed real good so it won't come off. That's why they, that's why decal figures are sealed. Is so the decals don't come off like that or somewhere along those lines. And let's look at the decals now because I got a few. I didn't get too many, just like a couple and that was it. Show what I got and ah, yes! Orange Classic Phase 1 Shock Trooper. Or just 212 Shock, but hey, it's an orange Shock Trooper. It counts. 
Yeah, you know my relationship with orange shock troopers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. I'll probably do these next year, so I don't mean to be such a killjoy, but I'm doing these next year, so no one's gonna be seeing those done anytime soon. And I got four of them. And yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, missed something because I got some plain grunts as well. Almost forgot he I almost thought he forgot them, but no. They're just in the like package and I forgot to remove them. I got three OG P1 grunts or classic P1 grunts because these were a bit of a success and I want to do some more of them. Yeah, the ones I did previously, they're not looking too hot. Mainly just because they did not seal properly, so they kind of became crap. So, yeah, story of my life. Everything just doesn't seem to last too long unless it's, like, today. Then it'll probably last long. Like, yeah, this will probably be around for a good while. It ain't leaving anytime soon. I ain't scrapping that. So let's put all these decals in the bag. And All right, this is the freebie. This is a bit of a special request because... Wise guy told me he had a crap ton of, like, OG paint, like, Phase 2 442nd helmets, and I was like, yeah, could you give me one, please? And he was like, yeah, why not? And basically because he had a lot of them, and he didn't know what to do with them. And overall inspecting this, it is very clean. Wow, this is actually probably one of the most clean classic 442nd helmets I have freaking seen. Look at that green! That is crisp. Like, that green is so damn crisp. Like, oh my god. That is just beautiful. Oh my god. That is perfect. Even the mouth is a little bit nice, but it's like off-centered by a little bit, but not even much. It's hard to notice, and the breathers look all right. Like, holy crap. Oh, perfect. And that's why I showed this off, is because, well, this helmet's slightly used. And I was like, eh, I might as well kill two birds with one stone, receive a freebie, and get a helmet for this one, because, well, the helmet on it was kind of crap. It's my first ever 42nd, and, well, here it is now with a brand new spanking helmet. Although, it was already like that before, like that little scuff right there was already like that before. It's been like that for years, ever since I bought it. For freaking thirty-two dollars back in twenty seventeen, I think it was. But yeah, oh, that's beautiful. There we go. Now I have a perfectly good individual four forty second that doesn't belong to the army case over there. So, oh, that is just beautiful. I could stare at that for hours. Like that helmet, just. I'm gonna go into this territory. This helmet turns me on that top stripe is so damn clean like that green is so so clean and i have a few classic 440 seconds that have let's just say not very nice looking top stripes so they're all like they look like they were sharpied on in fact here's an instagram post i did that showed off one of the sharpied looking 440 second helmets yeah it's been like that when i bought it so, yeah, I almost thought it was a misprint, but eh, it's not really too much of a misprint. Anyways, a bit of a summary. Classic, custom, like, Alpha 17. Pretty nice. I'd say pretty decent. I'd say that was probably worth the, I think it was eh, about $24 I spent on it. Eh, not too bad. The UV printing's decent. Hey, at least it wasn't damaged like the Cody. Yeah, y'all remember that. I am not gonna forget it, so there's that. But yeah, it looks pretty well made. Like, the helmet's pretty well decaled, too. The UV print isn't too bad. It's a little less, like, low quality compared to, like, BX, just saying. And it might be a little bit crooked, but hey, what was I expecting? And here's, well, a official LEGO Classic Phase 1. And hey, they look pretty good. They don't look too bad together. The UV's a little bit more thicker, but hey, I'll forgive that. So yeah, that's pretty good. Finally, a classic custom Phase 1 clone. Finally. There haven't been too many classic customs in the Phase 1 variety ever. Yeah. <coughs> ah, my throat was really dry there, that's why I coughed. Because I was talking a lot, so yeah. Anyways, summary. Yeah. Classic custom Phase 1 Alpha 17 with the UV printed torso, decal helmet, and cloth pauldron. Some decals, orange shocks, and phase one, and some more, like, 
playing grunts in classic phase one as well. And a free 442nd helmet that made almost every single other classic 442nd I have look like crap. Yeah, I'm going there. So, yeah, I guess this is where the video ends. And Yeah. I would just like to say, though, thank you, wise guy, for the free 442nd helmet. Like, that really, really made me happy. Like, damn, that, that green is so clean. Thanks for picking a really nice one for me. So, yeah, I was going to buy a helmet off DK Collectibles to fix this one, but no, nah, I guess not. If there is an opportunity, you must take it. And this is pretty good, too. I might have to buy the Echo and Fives. I might have to. And maybe the Clone Armor Obi-Wan as well. I might. It looks a little bit weird, but I think I'll probably go for it. I might. It's not too bad. Uh, I've seen worse. You know what I mean. For, like, UV printing, so, yeah, that sort of thing. Anyways. Yeah. Yes, now this is where I end the video. After I've dilly-dallied for the 50 millionth time. Which, yeah... Yeah, I'm not really too sure if I'll get any other videos out. Uh, we'll see what happens. But I do have a bunch of videos planned. I have a bunch of stuff planned and things to do, that sort of thing. Yada, yada, yada. I'll probably do another order off Jonak Toys, but it'll only just be plain grunts and maybe a couple cloth accessories and maybe some printed bodies too. We'll see. But yeah, I partially quit the decaling game for, well, the rest of the year. So Probably 2022, we'll see what happens. I'll, of course, I'll probably start decaling again in 2022, and I'll, I might probably do a few plain grunts if I get any Jonak decals and that sort of thing, which, yeah. I also have a Firestar Toys video that I made that I, like, I didn't order off Firestar Toys. I got a bunch of Aerialite helmets. I cleaned a particular kind out. So, yeah. I'll probably edit it and upload it sometime later. So, yeah, so I give you guys a heads up there, which, yeah. So, enough dilly-dallying. I'm going to finally end the video here right now. So, yeah, thank you, wise guy, for everything. And, yeah, also, don't forget to use code Zach on my... Well, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Sorry, I did not mean to... Oh, my God. Uh, awkward. I was trying to say... Yeah, basically. Don't forget to use code Zach on... Wise Guy Customs website to save a little bit of money when you do an order off Wise Guy Customs. So yeah, because Wise Guy sponsors me, so yeah. So, you know. Don't forget to use that code if you want to order off Wise Guy Customs and pick up some cool decals and some printed figs you'd like, so yeah. And I'm kind of running out of words to say, so yeah, I'm done here now, so yeah guys well that's all for now bye